The year is 2021, and unfortunately it's been pretty dry on the gaming front. We've had a few games that have been released, but nothing that has taken my attention like I would have liked. So, I have taken these past few weeks to dust off the old PS4 Pro and take a walk down memory lane revisiting some older games to see how they've aged. Injustice 2 was among these, and I'm happy to report that this game has aged like a fine wine in more ways than one, and I'm going to say with confidence that if you are an old player or a newcomer, that you should definitely give Injustice 2 a try in 2021. So to give a quick recap with no spoilers, the story of Injustice 2 is really good, by far one of the better superhero stories out there. Sure it can be cheesy at times as most Netherrealm games are, but the overall story experience is memorable and will entertain you despite its rather short 5-6 to six hour length. You have to remember that this game is a fighting game, so for me the story was a huge added bonus on top of all the other great things that this game provides. On the gameplay side of things, like I said earlier, this is a Netherrealm fighting game, so it plays just how one would expect. There's two people on each side and they go at it until there is a victor. What I like about Injustice 2 is how each character is extremely unique and each of their fighting styles vary in a way that make it almost impossible to have a favorite. The controls are also surprisingly easy to pick up and I found this game much more inviting to both the casual and hardcore audience compared to other games in the Netherrealm world such as Mortal Kombat 11. One of the best things about this game was the introduction of character customization. Compared to Mortal Kombat 11, which I also really like, I would have to argue that Injustice 2 has a much better gear variety for each of its characters. I felt that in Mortal Kombat, the overall appearance for all the characters really wouldn't change when I got new things, and it really didn't make me want to go out there and change my look all that much. Injustice 2 is the complete opposite, and while yes, there are some garbage characters like Cheetah that really don't have much to offer on the gear side of things, the majority of them all have options to make them really unique and extra cool looking. Take for example Robin here. The standard look is that of a classic Robin with the hood and the green and red color scheme. But then here's my other Robin that I attempted to make as similar to Nightwing as possible and they're both drastically different. Another good example would be Black Manta. I mean just look at the difference in the headgear alone. It's pretty sweet and I have to admit that I find myself customizing the characters more often than actually fighting. So the real question at this point is why should you come back to Injustice 2 in 2021? Well for one, the game holds up better than amazing. This game easily still holds the title for some of the best graphics and motion capture out there. Also, there is the simple fact that if there is an Injustice 3 coming, it's right around the corner. Mortal Kombat X released in 2015, Injustice 2 released in 2017, and Mortal Kombat 11 released in 2019. If Netherrealm continues with this pattern, and obviously we have to take into account the toll of the pandemic, I would say that Injustice 3 is probably going to be announced pretty soon, and most likely released in 2022. I myself like to get familiar with the controls before one of these games comes out, and I know that the hardcore competitive players out there probably do the same thing. So what better way than hopping back into it? Red Hood wins. Another, and probably the biggest reason you should play it again, is because there has been a massive increase in the amount of content that this game has provided since release. A bunch of new characters such as Black Manta, Hellboy, and the Ninja Turtles have been added, and they all have unique gear sets and abilities that really flesh out the roster. On top of this, there's an entire new endgame system in the form of the legendary multiverse that gives you top tier gear to chase for each of the characters. Each new world you see here is dedicated to whichever character you want to grind for, so not only are you guaranteed to get what you farm, but there's a good chance that some of you out there like me have a bunch of material stocked up and some of these objectives already completed. Now the last reason I want to give you as to why you should give this game another shot is that Injustice 2 is surprisingly not dead, like at all. Despite the fact that it has been almost 4 years since its release, matchmaking only takes about 15 seconds to find someone, and the guild system still works like a charm. I would say that in 10 hours, I see about 8-10 to 10 people online in my guild at any given time. So if you're one of those people who doesn't really like to touch dead games, which is understandable, then I think that you will find this one will surprise you just like it did me. So if you are a newcomer to Injustice 2 and want to capitalize on the fact that this game is always on sale, or if you, like me, used to play this game into the ground when it came out, then kinda just drifted away, I think that you will find Injustice 2 to have a lot of new and fun things to do if you come back. I hope you found this video informative and efficient. Thank you for watching, 
and hopefully I provided you with a few reasons why you should play Injustice 2 in 2021. Leonardo wins. Now that'll hit the spot. Mmm.